Hey, Jeff here at Deep Cycle Battery San Diego. Today's video is showing an application of the Big Battery Eagle lithium iron phosphate batteries. The golf cart is a 48 volt Tumberland cart. And this battery compartment previously had six, six volt GC2 batteries, which were flooded chemistry in series. What the uh, Big Battery Company has done awesomely has created a direct replacement dimensionally for the Eagle and each battery is 48 volts nominally with 30 amp hours and they fit right in this compartment and which I really enjoy was the Tomberlin's hold down hardware is reusable for this application and you can see and this is not a hard install uh, for in, as, as uh, installs go uh, you can see each battery has a uh, positive negative Anderson uh, I think a SB 175 that goes into the battery and then uh, the batteries parallel to each other so each battery has its own cable so when you're doing this install the first thing you want to do is uh, disconnect and remove all the lead acid batteries and then you're going to identify the Tomberlin's DC negative cables which come in I'm sorry DC positive and negative cables come in um, big batteries inform me that they're now supplying bus bars which is great so when you locate the Tomberlin's DC positive and negative cables, you're going to attach them to the correct polarity corresponding to the bus bar. So this black one would be the negative bus bar. So the Tomberlin uh, cart is coming in and attaching right here. And then now each one of the black big battery cables are also meeting at this uh, bus bar. I'll take this bus bar apart so you can see what you're getting. This is very clean and you can see you've got one, two, three, four studs. I like the 5 16 diameter stud because the cables are built for that. And it doesn't matter what order these, these uh, cables stack in. We dispersed them uh, pretty much evenly. And then the positive one is done the same, which is hidden down in here. And we've uh, put all the corresponding polarity cables on that, that represent the positive. Now the charger was very interesting. I'm kind of excited to show you what we did. Big Battery supplies a charger and what we did with the Tomberlin because it had an onboard charger that was located on the driver's side, we were able to build an aluminum plate utilizing the Tomberlin's uh, brackets that they already had. We actually mounted it's a little bit hard to see we took the big battery charger that has no mounts and we placed it onto the plate with a couple cable ties using a L bracket that pushes them together and what's really super cool is I'm gonna bring the camera down to see the Tomberlin has an onboard male NEMA plug right here and we were able to repurpose it by using the big battery charger cable. We had to use an adapter that was the NEMA adapter because the big battery charger is a NEMA AC. And then the NEMA adapter converted to the computer style uh, plug that, the on, that, that this port has. So if you have a Tomberlin and you look at this, uh, you disconnect the, the, the stock charger, you'll see that this which is this right here, will be a computer style plug that will not adapt naturally to the uh, uh, big battery charger. So we used, we went on Amazon, and I'll give you a link for this piece here, it's, it's like five bucks, um, and that we made them together. This cable tie is just a security so that this, this, this piece does not come separated. Uh, we just cable tied some stays there, and then we're gonna make this all secured back up inside the cart. So again, this is the Tomberlin 48 volt cart. This customer was really patient because we have never done this cart before. And then the charger, what I should have showed you too, the charger has this Anderson SB175. And I took one of the big battery cables that we had and attached the polarity to the bus bars and just matched it and just snapped it in to the charger's uh, Anderson plug. And that is it. And then as far as the battery indicator gauge, or let's say the fuel gauge, we didn't really have a lot of choices on where to put this. If I had a little more length of the cable that extends this fuel gauge, I would have mounted this 
up into this cavity right here. As it was, we had just enough cable extension to reach from the back of the battery to get to here. So we just uh, took this apart, put some uh, self-tapping screws, sent them into the dash, and this is your fuel gauge. Okay. So yeah, that's really about it. Um, it took me probably two hours to do this installation. Now here's the cool part. The Tumberland has another department or cavity. So we technically could put two more of the Eagle batteries in this area and parallel them to our bus bars to give this customer more range. They want actually the maximum range, so we might actually be doing this in the near future. Uh, we did remove the lead acid batteries. There's no need to have the extra weight in there. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments about your installation, please uh, post them and we'll do our best to respond. Um, yeah, so the big battery is a lithium iron phosphate and I'm super happy this again is a drop-in replacement for the uh, Trojan T105 or the US 6-volt or even the Costco 6-volt, whatever you got. Hope that helps you guys. Take care. Talk to you soon.